All right, I asked my viewers uh, if they had any favorite ICs, kind of jelly bean ICs that you think should be uh, video. Well, uh, I've chosen this one. This is this is one of my favorite, uh, 4040. Uh, you can get it regular regular 4040 or 74HC uh, 4040. 12 stage Ripple binary counter. It's just a 12 bit counter. It's very, very basic, but I've, I've used this so many times. Um, so it has a clock. It's a bit funny. It, it clocks on the negative edge, not the positive edge. It's got a reset line. Uh, and then it has 12 bits of counting. And it's all ripple counting, so they don't all change at the same time. You know, it, it's, it's a regular cascade ripple counter, but it's super, super cool. Um, so if you need to delay a count for a very long time, uh, this is a great, a great way to do it. Uh, let me show you a circuit over here. I'm sorry. Um, so I have a 555 going into the clock. And then we will display it. I have a logic analyzer hooked up to it right now. And there you go. So let me move around the camera here. All right, so, you know, D0, D1, D2, D3, blah, 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 all the way up here. So you can see that the very top one here is, this one's high and then low. And then the next line down, it's divided by two. And the next line down, it's divided by two. The next line, it's divided by two. So let's uh, change the horizontal here. And divided by two, and divided by two, and divided by two. And we can go all the way down to the bottom here and everything's divided by two so yeah it's <laughs> it's a very very interesting chip so i don't think there's a lot to say about this chip um i like i said i have used it lots of different times uh it's nice if you need if you need a count or you need to delay something uh it's very very basic um if you're going to talk about the hc4040 then you have to talk about another chip and the other chip is the uh is the 4060. Now the 4060 I don't find as useful. It is 14 bits instead of only 12 bits. So if you need a couple extra bits, it is good for that, but it comes at a cost, okay? And the cost that it comes at is, it doesn't give you, all of those bits are not output. Um, so it's a very strange part. Um, you get, different ways of clocking it. Uh, there's two inputs here, and then the very first two come out on pins. So this is, this is all kind of a bit, a bit strange. You can use it as an oscillator uh, because there's a delay here. You can actually feed back and you can have it self oscillating. So I think that's why they added this. You can actually have a little circuit on the, on the output that, that oscillates. Um, but then you can see that it's Q3. It starts right away with Q3, so that some of the bits are already thrown away. Q3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, where's 10? 10's missing. 11, 12, 13. So, yeah, it's just, it's just kind of a strange part. Um, like I said, I think the only, the re only reason to use this part is if you need to have a oscillator built into your circuit and you don't want to have an extra chip do that. A lot of times you'll use a 7414 as an oscillator because it has hysteresis in it. Makes a real nice one, but 7404s are used all the time. Uh, but anyway, here we got an inverter uh, in the package and uh, pins 10 and 11 we can put feedback on and have, a, have an oscillator, but yeah, there you go. Um, the 4060. So, um, but again, my favorite chip. I think it's a big star. Um, used it many times. The 4040. All right, so here's an example of a, uh, a 4060 with uh, self-oscillation. It's uh, two resistors and a capacitor that makes it into an oscillator. And uh, you can see that uh, the, clock, the clock is natively running at uh, 5.1 kilohertz. I'll show you the schematic. Um, and if I go over to the first counter, uh, yeah, it got divided down. So now it's only 31 hertz, so, and it's 14. 14 digits of counting or 14 bits of counting. So yeah, you can get anything you want out of it. Uh, slow it way down. What is this one? 80, 80 Hertz. What's that one? Uh, oh, it's very slow. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I don't think the, I don't think the, uh, 
uh, Rigel likes that uh, likes that slow clock. <laughs> okay, let's let's look at the schematic. And there we go. If you go on uh, to Google, you can put in uh, 4060 uh, oscillator circuit, and you can find people who do it different ways, different values and stuff. Anyway, uh, my favorite resistor, my favorite capacitor, and I needed another thing over here, so I put in a 1K. Um, so anyway, there you go. That turns it into an oscillator. It's all you need. Um, so I guess this is kind of, uh, uh, this. I think this is the time constant here. You know, it's kind of like this is self-biased, and then this is a kicker. Uh, these are these are both in in phase so uh, positive feedback anyway yeah there you go